What's up everyone, I'm Chris John for the Blue Marble and today I'm going to be showing you how I managed to create the solar eclipse sequence from yesterday's partial solar eclipse. This technique can still apply to both a solar and a lunar eclipse. So let's get down to processing the images to create our image sequence. So here we have all of our images uploaded into Adobe Lightroom. Of course, I took a lot more than this but these are just for demonstration. So I started here in Lightroom but you can start on Adobe Bridge if you wish to. What you're gonna have to do is to find the best photo for each part of the phase. As we can see here, coming in and out of the eclipse. Once you've made your selection, hit Ctrl A to select them all. Right click choose edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop but since for some reason I cannot do it here I'm gonna have to export them all as TIFF files and then import them into Photoshop later on so with all of our images loaded into Photoshop they will be in the form of layers right here so the next thing you're gonna have to do is to select the top layer hold down shift select the bottom layer then change the blending mode to lighten so as you can see, we can see each layer right here. The next thing we're going to have to do is to expand our image. To do that, we have to select the crop tool. Click this button in case you have presets already. Hold down Alt and then drag. Based on your preference, you can also expand the crop tool. Then hit enter. So the next thing that we are going to have to do is to add a background color, which is black. So to do that, we have to, add, we have to create a new layer. Drag it down to the bottom. Hit the D key to reset the, the background and foreground colors back to black and white. So if you're on a Mac, hit the option key. If you're in Windows, he'll hit the Alt key and then press Delete. So we have now filled our background color with black. So the next thing that we are going to have to do is to find the center. To do that, hit Control T and then Control R for the ruler. Then click and drag. And then press Escape. What we have done here is that we have found our center, which is where we will put our totality in, which turns out to be layer 3 here, our top layer. I'm just going to have to rename this. Then drag it to the center. So the next thing we're going to have to do is to organize each layer to, to, the, to their corresponding places. So this is going to take quite some time. Alright, so when you're done with this, you can click the View tab here, and then click Clear Guides. And voila! Here is your Solar Eclipse image sequence. You can do finishing touches if you wish to, but for now, I'm gonna have to end it here. So if you like this video and like tutorials like this, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button so that you won't miss any future videos. And once again, clear skies.